Well, thank you very much, and uh, I'm highly honored to receive you in my office today. Uh, this is the office of the representative of uh, Umar Head North, Umar Head South, and the Guano local government. Uh, so we we'll call it Umar Head North, Umar Head South, the Guano Federal Constituency of Abia State. So this is their office. I'm just merely representing them as had now. Uh, my name is Honorable Obi Agocha. Um, from Oroho in uh, Omaha North, and in the House of Representatives, I am the chairman of chairman, uh, meaning that my committee has oversight, oversight of all standing and ad hoc committees, uh, oversight, monitoring and evaluation of all outputs of all standing and ad hoc committees of the tent House of Representative. I'm also ad hoc committee chairman on security and insecurity in the Southeast, with special emphasis on the Sukwato and Umunochi local government areas. I'm happy to have you here. So welcome. 2023 personality of the year mm -hmm. in the area of security. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel fantastic about it. At least uh, some form of recognition in the works that we have done not just from the community level, when I was president general of our home welfare union, uh, when I was co-chairman of uh, Umar Head North uh, Development Union, which is a clan that is owned uh, between Oho and Ibeku. Uh, while we were in such positions, we made emphasis, placed emphasis on security. So we took that up here. Uh, it's also important that the House of Representatives have given me that platform. Uh, of the Southeast the security and insecurity to showcase uh, a working collaboration between my committee and the service chiefs and the parliamentary agencies, including the state governors, with special emphasis to my own governor, Dr. Alex Choma Oti, with uh, his effort that he has put in to help to curb crime and criminality in, in the Southeast, especially in Abia State especially within the houses of uh, Isikwato and uh, Umunnochi, uh, local government areas, and an introduction of Operation Crush, which I think all uh, stakeholders that are either your state actor or non-state actor have all agreed has been very successful in curbing the menace of, of uh, kidnapping, assassinations, and the trade that have been so prevalent in those areas, and at least beginning to have that tone, uh, moving away from crime and criminality to uh, building the political space, the economic space that will now bring about economic empowerment to our people. So I'm happy with uh, what the governor is doing in Abia State, uh, what the governor of Enugu is also doing, and what the governor of uh, Ebony State are doing uh, in respect to security and insecurity in the Southeast. And most importantly, um, we've said that part of returning the normalcy uh, in the South is goes through the federal government uh, to unconditionally release Mazi Namdekano from unlawful detention that he has been in. Uh, he needs to be given the opportunity to reunite with his family and to go about his business as a free citizen. And the time has come and it, the time is now for federal government to show good faith. We're pleading to them to show good faith to release Mazin Namdekano from unlawful detention. So if uh, the lease awards and Nigerians took cognizance of that, is, I think is amongst all other considerations, is my continued demand for the unconditional release of Mazin Namdekano that has maybe drawn myself to the attention of Nigerians to, to to vote for me as the personality award or to give me the personality award in the area of security as at this time. So so I want to use this opportunity as well to continue to encourage the federal government to move them towards that direction. The federal government has been, this government honestly has been open-minded in that direction and I hope we will continue to move in that direction and uh, hopefully on or about December 15th, 
Mazen Namdekal will walk away from unlawful detention. I'll be part of the people who will receive him uh, and to ensure that Alibo, all those people who are using his name to commit all these crimes and criminality will have nothing else to do and to end this unproductive sit at home that have been going on for too long in the southeast, uh, that have dwindled our economic activities, that have dwindled uh, uh, opportunity, you know, government uh, government and private citizen opportunities. Uh, so we need to, the southeast must have to return back to normalcy, where governments, we in government, whether in the legislature or in the executive, will now pay more emphasis on the protections of life and properties of the Southeasterners and indeed Nigerians who are living in the Southeast.